Imagine a piece of Hollywood memorabilia making waves at auctions, a topless centerfold supposedly featuring Linda Carter, known for her iconic role as Wonder Woman. Some people believe it's a genuine Playboy shoot, while others argue it's a scene from Apocalypse Now. But here's the twist, Linda Carter never appeared in Apocalypse Now and has denied ever working with Playboy. So, where does this controversial piece of memorabilia actually come from? Let's dive into the story behind Carter's supposed Playboy centerfold and unravel the mystery. Linda Carter's rise to fame is a classic Hollywood tale of talent and perseverance. She began her career with a natural flair for drama and a striking presence that caught the attention of many. As a young girl, she performed in local talent shows and started building a name for herself. Although she didn't achieve immediate international stardom, these early experiences set her on a path to future success. By high school, Carter was already involved in singing gigs, showcasing her vocal talents at various venues. Despite the challenges, she remained determined and worked various jobs, including at a pizza parlor, to support her passion for music. Her relentless drive and ambition were evident even in her teenage years. At the age of 16, Carter began performing for family and at casinos, gaining recognition for her talent. Her determination to succeed led her to audition for a band in the early 1970s, where she hoped to advance her career more quickly. Although she had to leave school to focus on her music, Carter's gamble paid off as she joined the band and toured extensively, earning acclaim in the process. By 1972, Carter's interest shifted towards acting. She entered a local beauty contest in Arizona, despite not initially being interested in such competitions. Her charm and determination won her the title, which opened doors for further opportunities. Carter went on to compete in Miss World USA, where she continued to shine and eventually earned a place in American entertainment. Her big break came when she landed a minor role in the TV series Nakia. While the part was small, it showcased her potential and led to further opportunities. Despite spending most of her savings on pursuing acting, Carter's persistence paid off when she was cast in the role of Wonder Woman. This role catapulted her to international fame and cemented her place as a pop culture icon. So, where does the topless Playboy centerfold come into play? It turns out that the centerfold in question is linked to Apocalypse Now, a film directed by Francis Ford Coppola. In the 1970s, Coppola needed a model for a topless centerfold scene in the film. Although Carter was initially reluctant, she agreed to pose for the scene after additions and discussions. During the production in the Philippines, the set was hit by Typhoon Olga, causing significant damage. As a result, the shoot was delayed, and Carter, who had already returned to America, decided to pursue other opportunities. She accepted the role of Wonder Woman, which she felt was a better fit for her career compared to the supporting role in Apocalypse Now. Coppola had to replace Carter with another actress, but the topless centerfold scene remained a crucial part of the film. The new actress's attempt to replicate Carter's pose didn't quite match the original, so Coppola chose to use Carter's original centerfold. This is why the memorabilia featuring Carter's topless centerfold is still circulating and sparking debate today. The significance of this centerfold lies not just in its content but in its role in the film's narrative. It adds a distinctive touch to Apocalypse Now, making it memorable for some viewers. The ongoing interest in this piece of memorabilia reflects the enduring fascination with Hollywood's hidden gems and behind-the-scenes stories. The controversy surrounding the Playboy centerfold highlights how Hollywood's past can continue to intrigue and captivate audiences. While Linda Carter has consistently denied any association with Playboy, the story of the centerfold from Apocalypse now provides a glimpse into the complexities of film production and the enduring allure of celebrity memorabilia. In conclusion, the topless centerfold of Linda Carter, whether real or fictional, serves as a fascinating chapter in Hollywood's history. It underscores how certain elements of film and celebrity culture can continue to spark curiosity and debate long after their initial release. For fans and collectors, this piece of memorabilia is more than just a photo, 
it's a tangible connection to a bygone era of cinema and a testament to the enduring mystique of Hollywood's golden age.